Hello, my beautiful friends. I am here today to talk to you about how we are all the creators of our own reality, okay? And this is a really wild, mind-blowing, life-shifting concept, okay? And you can hear it talked about in a lot of different names, the law of attraction. You can hear it talked about in the seven hermetic principles as mentalism. You can hear it talked about in called manifestation, affirmations, all these different things. But I'm here to explain a little bit of the science behind it and how you can harness this magic of life, okay? So a little bit about the science. What is happening is, I'm sure you learned in school, in your science classes in grade school, that we are all made of atoms. We are all made of energy. We are all made of stardust, right? It's like the, the whole, everything that's living, everything that's material is made of vibrating atoms. And those vibrating atoms are literally just energy, okay? Um, and so what happens is our thoughts our state of being, our emotions, our actions are literally affecting the rate at which those atoms vibrate. So you've might maybe heard people talking about like raise your vibration, like raising your vibration, raising your um, mental state, your physical state, your whole reality, um, and that's what they're talking about. They're literally talking about the physical vibration of your atoms. And so a high frequency emotion like gratitude, love, joy, happiness, these all cause your atoms to literally accelerate uh, the vibration. And more low frequency emotions, sadness, anger, greed, hate, these slow things down, okay? And it's not that any emotion is bad or good, like the high frequency ones are good and the low frequency ones are bad. I do try to personally focus more on the high frequency ones, but we have to understand that emotions are the low frequency and the high frequency, they are the same emotion. For example, fear and excitement. That is actually one thing. It's just on the spectrum of what are you, where are you feeling the spectrum of that emotion, towards fear or towards excitement. And so again, like it's not like one's bad, one's good, one just is a lower, one is a higher, okay? And the goal is to create a higher vibration, a higher frequency for ourselves. And again, this is more of like the science of it. And so, because then what happens is our atoms, our literal energy, our, our physical being is energy. All of reality around us is energy. The plants, the animals, the physical material realm is all energy. And so everything is made up of these vibrating atoms. And so when we put out the energy into the universe with our thoughts, with our actions, with our emotions, we are literally affecting the rate at which the atoms around us vibrate, okay? It's like, um, what is it that's like, something in rest uh, will always stay in rest, or something emotional will always stay in motion. My physics, uh, I'm not explaining the laws properly, but what the earth needs balance, it needs to balance out. And so if we are putting out, if we are at a high frequency, a high vibrational rate, then the, we are creating the things around us to shift their vibration, shift their rate to match ours, okay? And if we are at a lower vibration, frequency, and rate, then we are creating the things to go in a lower direction. And so it's really interesting, like you can see this manifest an example of when you walk into a room, or say you're at a party or dinner or something, and somebody walks in and you can just like feel that they're in a lower vibrational state and that like affects the room or somebody walks in and they're like hey guys what's up i'm so excited to see you i love you all so much that also affects the state of the room and you notice other people starting to laugh and smile and giggle like we affect each other and it is literally this vibration of our atoms and so we can control the rate at which our atoms vibrate simply by changing our thoughts, simply by working on our emotions, simply by changing our energy and our state of being, okay? And so what I mean by that is that I literally am the creator of my reality, okay? If I focus on love and joy and gratitude, then what is going to be created around me is love and joy and gratitude because my atoms, my vibration, my frequency, my energy, that's what's in my energy field. And so then that's literally what's going to be affecting me on the outside. And 
So it's really incredible because what I mean by this is like the best possible case scenario. Because like, yes, you can be in a state of vibrational love, frequency, gratitude, and create that around you, but you can literally create every detail of your life. And this is something that I have learned over the past couple of years and really harnessed and has absolutely changed my life. And what I mean is that like, if I deeply visualize and own in my energetic field, in my thoughts and my emotions, that I am a loving being who shares wisdom that I've gathered from uh, my travels and from my life, my lifetimes. I share it with the people, the people that are looking for my knowledge come to me. I'm an abundant being in a loving, amazing relationship. Everything that I need is surrounded. I get to live in nature and my dream home. All of these things, like I literally focus on them. I literally change my thoughts to believe, believe that that is my reality, even if it's not manifesting around me at the moment. And therefore I'm changing my, and shifting my emotions to believe that reality. And then my actions are also shifting and my energy, I am changing the energy in my org field. I am changing the energy of my body. I'm changing the energy around me to create, to be in the energy of this reality of my dream reality. Okay. And then the energy around me in my org field is then literally shifting, moving outwards and shifting the entire reality around me, okay, to become in alignment with the frequency that I am putting out. And so I mean this in the most serious way. We are the creators of our reality. You can have anything you want. You can create a reality of your wildest dreams. All you have to do is believe it. It gives a whole new meaning or feeling behind the sentence. You have to believe it to achieve it. Um, who was it? Henry Ford said, if you believe you can, or if you believe you can't, you will be right. Literally all these wise people talk about this and give us these hints all throughout history um, and ancient cultures and religions that point to this. Okay. And if you don't believe me, try it for yourself, but there's kind of a couple little things to know about this. Um, two things. One is that we really have to trust. Okay. You really have to believe it. You really have to trust that this is real, that this is you're able to do this, okay? And if you really truly believe that you are able to do this, then you will really truly believe this new reality that you create for yourself. And think about how it feels to have that reality and then feel it. Think about the thoughts you have having that reality and think them. Think about the energy that you feel in your body and around you when you have this reality and feel that and hold that. Make it a daily morning practice to work on that and literally watch your reality shift, okay? So you have to trust that you are the creator of your reality and you have to, because then that will manifest in the creation of your reality. If we doubt it, then we're only going to then see the doubt manifest in our reality. The other thing is, is that we really want this to come from a heart centered place. Okay. Um, the heart is the seat of our consciousness. If you think about the chakras, we have seven chakras. The three below the heart are our human chakras. The three above the heart are our spiritual chakras. The heart is the center. We are meant to be both human and spiritual. We are meant to be the balance of these two things. And so the heart is literally where our consciousness, where our soul is communicating through us. It is where it's living. And so if we manifest our reality and create our reality through our heart space, that is when we're really going to see everything shift and change and become amazing. And this is an invitation for you to tap into your heart. What are your deepest, wildest heart's desires? What is everything that you want in that big, beautiful heart of yours? And then believe that you have it. Believe that you're worthy of it because we really are. We are here. The way life works is that we are here on earth. We are incarnated on this planet to create, to accomplish what we want, especially what our heart wants. We have those wants and those desires for a reason because they're a part of our purpose and they're leading us in a direction. So you are worthy of your desires and your wants, especially the heart centered ones. Okay. And 
a lot of us, and I know speaking for myself personally, I can get really caught up thinking that, oh no, I'm not worthy of these things, they're too big, or I'm gonna pretend like those aren't even my dreams because what if, what if I don't accomplish them and then I'll be disappointed in this life? I'm here to tell you, you are meant to accomplish them. You're so meant to accomplish them that you can literally just believe that you are accomplishing them and it will start to happen, okay? Um, and so it's this really, really incredible thing that I am absolutely in love with. Um, and yeah, something to just a small note to keep in mind too is that it this can manifest in the opposite. If we, the only limitations that we will experience in our lives are the ones that we believe, okay? Again, our beliefs create our reality. We are the creator of our realities. And so if we believe that we have limitations, like I am not enough, I'm not worthy enough, I don't have the money, I don't have the abundance, I don't have the time, then that is literally the reality we are creating for ourselves. We create our own obstacles. The only obstacles that are in our ways are the ones that we believe are in our ways. And so I'm not saying this is going to instantly shift, but it will be miracles and go pretty quickly if you truly believe this, I swear. But if you are worried that you, for example, don't have enough money to live your dream life, okay? If you can just practice and start shifting that belief that I don't have enough money and shift it to I am abundant, I have everything I need and more, and opening yourself to the universe's magic and your own magic, that obstacle, that limitation will literally start to disappear in your life, okay? And then continue to shift it. You can start small and use small affirmations or you can just go big and completely change your whole reality at once. And so, yeah, I hope this helps. It is my favorite thing in life right now to talk about. And I love you all so much. Leave some comments and questions below. If you need more guidance on this, if you want to work together, I offer coaching, I offer readings, I offer energy healings, all the things. It is my purpose and mission in life to just share, share, share. Um, and so thank you for coming and hanging out with me.